Okay, this is <clears throat> this is the baby chick. It's uh, five days old, and from what I was researching, it looks like it has what's called split wing or angel wing, and the other chicks are kind of curious about it. Look how how much bigger they are compared to this one, and. Uh, just, it seems to have trouble walking, and I don't know if it's because of the wing, or if it's because of its legs, but it stands pretty well. Okay, I'll focus there. I was going to die the first couple of days, but it's, it is eating and drinking, but it seems to have the most trouble with the wing, maybe the balance. Um, I did have paper towels on the, on the bottom in the center here, where the chick likes to hang out. Uh, the rest of it was just with the wood chips, but um, yeah, she's, she's now able to eat and drink on her own. Um, the other chicks, when they get around her, she's a speckled Sussex, um, hatched on the 20th, today's the 25th, they seem just fascinated with her, but they peck at her and stuff. But when she's just laying there, they, they don't mess with her too much. They're curious about her. And she just has trouble. So... Um, from what I read, it's called split wing or angel wing because she doesn't have these uh, feathers in the center here. And, uh, and so you, there's a way to tape them up with a figure eight bandage that I looked up on the internet. And so I'm going to try taping them up with some vet wrap uh, tonight or tomorrow. Um, people have had success. Uh, correcting the wing problem even as long as four weeks uh, or even longer than that. I had a little glitch there. Uh, so, so hopefully that'll help her. Uh, and I'll repost another video um, after, after uh, doing that. So we can see how well she does, and they say change it every couple, two, three days, and do a little bit of physical therapy by gently uh, extending the wing and uh, fully extending it and putting it fully back and several times, holding for 15, 20 seconds. So uh, I'm going to follow some of the uh, the wildlife rehabilitators. Uh, notes on on this and see if we can get some progress with her so she can start directing more energy towards growing rather than maintaining but she's a sweetheart so um, and they say that it's just is the cause uh, they believe in the at least in the article that I read um, on a, a grasshawk that was, had the same split wing problem, it was um, hand raised, they felt like it was uh, a nutrition problem where there's an imbalance of protein to calcium and vitamin D3, they're getting too much protein and the muscles are uh, weighing down on the bones which aren't developing um, fast enough to be strong enough to hold the muscle, 